everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and today we are going to do yet another foundation review. Yep, I know, you guys may be getting sick of these. There has been so many new launches and today I'm going to be reviewing the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the Natural Skin Perfector. This has been reformulated, has more skincare benefits along with an SPF 30 instead of 20, and they have taken out the parabens. So we are gonna put this guy to the test, and then I, spoiler alert, I really love this. I wanted to go ahead and check out the new version of the Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. So today I am doing one side of my face with just the tinted moisturizer and the other side i've got a sample of the illuminating version that was also just released so i am 51 years old and i have dry skin so we are going to put these two on my face see how it goes as well as put on a few other new makeup items that I've been playing with and loving. If you are interested in learning more about the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and how it wears on the skin, then please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, and then let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and put some makeup on this face. So you guys, I was debating, but since I have a sample, I thought we should go ahead and do the Laura Mercier new tinted moisturizer, as well as a, have a sample of the Laura Mercier uh, illuminating tinted moisturizer. Let's go ahead. I think what we'll do today is do half of my face with the regular tinted moisturizer and the other half with the illuminating version of it. So let's jump in. Now I have been so excited you guys because Heather Roses from Beauty 40 Plus, if you are not familiar with her channel, um, you need to check it out. I will put a little picture of her over there, but she has been helping me. I have always struggled with um, what color to get in a foundation. I think this is very common amongst many of us. I have been put in cools, neutrals, and warms, and I just get completely, like I don't understand which ones I should be focusing on. Now, obviously we have different undertones in our skin. We have more than just one. Way back when I was matched in my beloved Chanel um, Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation in Beige Rosé, which has a cool under base. And I went with that color for many, many years and then I kind of got off track and then I was trying the neutrals and thinking I was golden as well. So I always kind of knew, I always would go back to that one foundation because that was just my favorite. And I'm kind of thinking it was because it was the actual tone that I liked the best. So I ended up purchasing this guy in 2C1, this is blush, and this is basically a neutral, cool undertone. I did happen to luck out and have a Laura Mercier rep at Sephora the day that I was purchasing this, and when she was matching me, she also put me in um, with a more cool tone. So she said, obviously we've got many different ones, but that the cool tone tend to give me a little bit more life to my skin. So I am embracing the neutral cool tones. Gives me another excuse to throw out all my foundations and go get the cool tone ones. No. <laughs> um, but anyhow, now you guys, I was a complete Laura Mercier fan way back when. I did the whole flawless face system and I mean, this was a long time ago. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this guy and here is the color. It's a nice thick consistency. And again, you guys, this is exactly what it's called, tinted moisturizer. And I just used to love it. So we are going to use, I'm trying to figure out what side has worse, cause I wanna show you. Um, we will do the tinted moisturizer on this guy. Um, this one has just a little bit more discoloration. And then we'll do the illuminating version on the opposite side. 
So I'm just kind of taking this, you guys, and this is one that is so great because you can literally just put it on with your fingertips, glides right onto the skin. Now, what surprised me with this one, you guys, was that my skin ended up looking so healthy and amazing. When it first tried it on, I was like, it has zero coverage. And I'm someone who definitely likes a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna take the rest that is on my hand over here. And I'm just gonna buff this into that side. Just put a little bit more. This new and improved best-selling tinted moisturizer has been now infused with more skincare benefits for up to 24 hour hydration and has an SPF 30 sunscreen to protect. This is going to provide you with light coverage, a natural finish, and it's fantastic for normal, dry, and combination skin. So this is not claiming to be great for oily skin types. You guys, it includes macadamia and cuckoo seed oils that is gonna help the skin's moisture level levels long-term for up to 24 hours of hydration while reducing the signs of visibly dry skin. Silica treated pigment is gonna help give you that soft focus effect for a natural dewy finish. Tamarind seed extract locks in the moisture and gives enhanced antioxidant protection. You guys, this does have a mix of physical uh, sunscreens in it, so that would be the one thing I would tell you. I tend to, I tend to go for more of the more mineral sunscreens, but so far, this little combination has not affected me. So that does contain um, chemical sunscreens in it. It is also now free of parabens. It is said to give you perfect your skin with a sheer hint of coverage for effortless no makeup makeup gives you that beautiful dewy finish and it still has everything you loved about the original version of this tinted moisturizer but now it has improved skincare benefits lasting hydration and an spf 30 instead of 20. tinted moisturizer illuminating version is, is still is still based in the, tint, the number one tinted moisturizer, but it's new and improved with a blend of finely milled pearls for a luminous finish, and you now get SPF 30 to protect your skin. This again is for going to give you light coverage, a radiant finish. It's um, best for normal, dry, and combination skin. The illuminating version incl includes French algae and licorice extracts that's going to help improve the skin's natural radiance over time. It's got the reflective mica that reflects and transmits light in multiple directions for an instant glow to the skin. Glycerin is going to help soften the fine lines, revitalize hydration, and again, you guys, this is a mix of chemical sunscreens. It is free of parabens. This is the secret to your effortless skin. It perfects your skin with a sheer hint of coverage for that no makeup makeup look. This is going to give you that luminous pearlescent finish and it's going to include everything that you loved about the iconic one, but with new improved skincare benefits and lasting luminosity along with an SPF. Okay, you guys, this one is in Natural Radiance. This is the Laura Mercier Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. As you can see, this is definitely more warm and peachy. And then we've got the, uh, not the original, but the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And this is in 2C1 Block. Okay, you guys, we've got both of these on, and then of course, I needed to try out the uh, Flawless Fusion Laura Mercier Longwear Concealer. I had heard many awesome things, and I've been kind of enjoying this as well. Number one, it has this really nice, kind of flexy um, doe foot applicator, 
and I'm finding that you guys, it is really quite wonderful. It is not necessarily crease in my uh, under eyes. I, you guys, I find that I have a little creasing with any just because of my age, but what I'm really liking it is when I'm using it on my skin with along with this tinted moisturizer. So I tend to like to put, have a little bit more coverage than what I'm getting right now. So I kind of got this just to provide me with a little bit more coverage and I find this works fantastic for that. So I'm just gonna kind of put it in a few of my little spots that I need so a little bit more um, coverage. And I'm going to buff that into the skin. Here is both sides with some concealer. And I'm just gonna let this kind of sink into my skin. Now, I do wanna let you know I have sensitive skin. I tend to always look for foundations with more of a natural sunscreen such as titanium dioxide. But so far, this has not um, bothered my skin whatsoever. And again, my skin will tell me immediately um, if something is bothering it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to play with a little bit more new makeup. I have a new favorite bronzer and this is from my favorite, um, sunscreen <laughs> that I always use, uh, my glow beauty, glow skin beauty SPF 50. And this is this lovely bronzer. You guys, this is a really pretty one. So we're gonna use that as my bronzer today. We're gonna do a whole other video, kind of like a clean beauty video. But I just like to take a little bit of this. So I swirl both of them together. And I'm just gonna kind of brush this on, warming up the skin. going to use the Soleil blush again from Glow Skin Beauty. Look how pretty that is. Right up my alley. You guys, I'm going to do a quick eye look using one of my favorites. This is Chanel Blurry Mauve. We'll do a quickie eye. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of reflection with my Hourglass Scattered Lights. So let's get started on that. eyes are on <laughs> and um, we're gonna try I have one more new thing that we must pull out um, so yes I picked up one of the terribly expensive Tom Ford lip glosses darn it Michelle 
I was done with the Sephora sale, but then of course she had to post this on her Instagram. And when I say Michelle, you guys, I'm sorry, Michelle Wong. If you're not familiar with Michelle, which I just assume that everyone is, but someone asked me who I was talking about when I mentioned Michelle just in passing the other day, and this is Michelle Wong. She has a luxury beauty channel, pretty much my go-to luxury gal. <laughs> and she had posted up that you, the new Tom Ford lip glosses um, had launched and that you could get them on the, in the Sephora, at the Sephora sale. So I was like, darn it, Michelle, I was done purchasing things, but then of course I had to buy one. Um, you guys, these are $55. That is a lot for a gloss. They are beautiful. So you guys, when we are buying for Tom Ford, let's just face it, we are a lot of times buying partly for the packaging, so pretty, and I actually think the quality of their products are quite amazing too, but yes, do I think they're overpriced? Of course. Um, I love luxury makeup, so yeah. So anyways, I just bought one. I bought it in the shade Frantic, which is described as a medium pink with pearl. And I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put that guy on. Just a really pretty wash of color. Do I think that this gloss is worth $55? Probably not. I was gonna have to try it anyways. So I was glad I got it on sale, <laughs> on 20% off. But you guys, these are lovely. Gives you a really glossy look, very moisturizing. Um, slight little scent, nothing overpowering. Um, and again, the shade is just kind of a nice little pink color. I think you could use this on top of lipsticks and just on its own. Very pretty. So um, we can talk more about that later. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the look using my Hourglass Finishing Powders. So when I was talking to the rep from Laura Mercier, she recommended that I buy one of the Candle Glow uh, powders and it's funny I really I had bought one of those um, I don't know years when they first launch the candle glow and then I asked her because I know that I gave that away but I had asked the rep um, if they are very similar to the hourglass powders and she was like yes she shook her head you don't need the candle glow powder if you own the thing that I did not do that she recommend is she recommended putting on your concealer first and then kind of using the tinted moisturizer on top I usually do it the opposite, so I may try that another time. I just automatically did it the way that I always do my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead, and what I do, you guys, is I use the little hourglass brush, and I just take it down the whole row. And you guys, I love these powders. Every time I pull them out and use them again, I'm just like, why don't I just use these every day? They are gorgeous. So they're going to give you a nice, light, um, finishing again they're just so pretty for mature skin and i'm just going to kind of buff those all over just a little guys i'm not going to put too much on but we're going to do it on both okay we have finished off the glowy look today <laughs> and i just wanted to come i'll bring you up a little closer you guys this is the regular laura mercier this is this one, and it is in blush. And then this is the illuminating version, and this again is in natural radiance. So to me already, you guys, this is gonna be your warm kind of tan side. I would almost think I would need to go down a shade if I'm gonna to continue to use this. I did not purchase it. I just fell in love with this. I was like, ooh, maybe I need to try the illuminating one. I usually tend to like to highlight my skin with something like a traditional highlighter or maybe something like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter versus having it all over my skin. That way I can kind of control it a little better. 
Um, so I'm gonna do one more side. We're gonna see if you guys can tell because I think if you're wanting something that's gonna be more illuminating on this side, there is less shades for that. I think there's only six available on that side. So again, limited range here. The Laura Mercier, the tinted moisturizer one, this has 20 different shades. It definitely has an expanded shade range with darker as well as some lighter shades. Always in the middle, it's kind of filled in for those light to medium skin tones. But I am really finding that that has shade range has expanded. With the illuminating one, it only has six of those. So again, you're gonna kinda wanna go in and try that out. So you guys can let me know as usual as to which side you prefer but you guys this is what i call your no makeup makeup days i really love this as far as just kind of like maybe weekend makeup i feel like my skin looked super healthy and perfected and i've just been really enjoying this um, now that i have tried on this radiance version i'm gonna prefer this side over here because i feel like i get um I feel like I'm getting a lot of radiance in all of that stuff without the pearlescent. Again, that is just my opinion, you guys. <laughs> um, some people love that look, and I think it can be a time and a place. I'm preferring the tinted moisturizer just in the regular version. Here is the swatches oxidized. So again, you guys, this is natural radiance. And as you can see, this is gonna be fantastic, I think, in the summer months. I think it doesn't look like you have anything on your skin, so this would be really great. And then this is the 2C1, and this is in blush. So coming up this week, Penny from Penn Smith Skincare and I are doing our roundup, kind of ranking them of all the new foundations that have been released, okay? So I have got so many of them, and I'm gonna kinda walk you through why I love some of the new ones and just kinda give you an idea if you are completely confused as to which one you might want to invest in. I'm hoping that this video is gonna be helpful, and again, I'm collaborating with Penny, so I think this is gonna be a good one. Okay, you guys, I hope this was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.